ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And our guests today are a jaguar and a tortoise. A jaguar and a tortoise. Mm -hmm. Jake, would you excuse us for a second? Oh, Jake, a jaguar and a tortoise have nothing in common. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They're both part of the same food chain. Uh, that means one animal depends on another animal for food. Oh, I get it. The jaguar goes grocery shopping for the tortoise. That's uh, nice. No, no, not exactly, Stinky. See, what happens is that the jaguar eats the tortoises and the terrapins. What? The jaguar eats them? That's awful! Well, well, Stinky, all animals have to eat to survive. See, you should learn more before you pass judgment. Learn more? Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Mm. Today, the reptile that can lay the most eggs. Uh Oh, hey, that would be my Uncle Shaky Hawk, a really bad stand-up comic. Wherever he played, he laid an egg. No, uh, I'm strong. I'm talking about the green turtle, who lays 100 eggs at a time. First, she digs a hole, lays the eggs, and buries them. Why, doesn't she like them? That's where the eggs stay until the time is right. Then they hatch, and the baby turtles all race to the sea. In just five months, one green turtle mom can lay as many as 1,100 eggs. 1,100 eggs? Wait, she must tell worse jokes than Uncle Shecky. The egg-laying green turtle! Another animal who gets more yolks than yucks and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> Jake, you're absolutely right. I need to know more about the food chain before I decide I don't like it. Well, I think it's time we all learn more about the food chain from our first guest. From the forest of South and Central America. America. Here is Jasper the Jaguar. I've been working on the food chain all the live long day. How are you doing, <laughs> fellas? Great yeah. day to be alive, huh? Yeah, as long as you're not a terrapin. Oh, you'll have to excuse Stinky. He just found out about the food chain, and uh, he's a bit upset. Ah, oh. uh, Stinky, the food chain is part of nature. Let me show you what I mean. Oh. Okay. You like to eat, don't you, Stinky? Well, sure. Well, that's what the food chain is all about. Eating and surviving. This jaguar here is like every animal in the wild. He's out looking for his next meal. That's a great bird's eye view. Well, thanks, Jake. We were lucky enough to find a bird in my neighborhood who knows how to work a camera. You know, that jaguar really blends into the leaves. That's right. Our spots give us natural camouflage in these forests. We stand still. No one even knows we're there. That sure helps when we're hunting. And what exactly do jaguars eat? Oh, a wide variety of arboreal, terrestrial, and aquatic animals. Huh? Oh, that just means we eat animals that live in trees, on the ground, and in the water. From peccaries and caiman to fish and terrapins. We're always on the prowl for a meal. Fish and terrapins? So you hunt in the water. But most cats I know hate the water. Jaguars are one of the few cats that like to be near water. In fact, we're very good swimmers. I bet you can't swim better than terrapins. Maybe not, Stinky, but we can sure sneak up on them. Just watch. There's a terrapin just resting on a log, catching some sun. Oh, and here comes the jaguar trying to figure out how to get across the river. Run, terrapin, run! There's a jaguar coming! Oh, I'm sure some of these terrapins will see the jaguar. They'll jump in the water and swim away as fast as their little legs will carry them. But as long as one terrapin stays behind, that jaguar will have its meal. And meanwhile, this jaguar is inching closer and sharpening its claws. Yes, our claws are important for catching and holding our prey, so we try to keep them razor sharp. Jaguars also have a very powerful jaw, which is especially important if you catch a terrapin. Because of the terrapin's hard shell? Exactly. We jaguars have the most powerful jaws in the entire cat family, even more powerful than lions and tigers. Hmm. You know, I've always wondered who they get to test things like that. Probably some poor terrapin. Oh, now, Stinky, I've been trying to tell you. This is all part of how the food chain works, and here it is in action. Oh, my, we're, we're getting closer, aren't we? That's right. Nobody make any noise, and that terrapin should be caught in just a moment. 
Run, Terrapin, run! Run, I'm telling you, run! Oh, run like Stinky, a... Oh, be quiet, please. You're gonna warn the Terrapins. Come on. Oh, well, well, looks like we're a little too late, Stinky. That Terrapin is caught. I still don't understand the food chain. What don't you understand, Stinky? Well, if the Jaguar and Terrapin are both part of the food chain, then does that mean the Terrapin gets to eat a Jaguar for dinner, too? Well, it doesn't exactly work like that, Stinky. You see, Jaguars are higher on the food chain than Terrapins. So the Jaguar reads the Terrapin, not the other way around. In fact, Jaguars are at the top of our food chain, so there's nobody to eat us. Oh, now I understand. The food chain is great, if you're at the top of it. Oh, Stinky, it's all part of nature. It is? Well, then, I am resigning from nature. But, Stinky, you... Goodbye. You... Uh... Well, Stinky gets like this sometimes. Actually, he gets like this all the time. Well, I'd better go then so he doesn't get even madder. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you, Jasper. And now it's time for... <gasps> Baby, Baby Talk. talk. <clears throat> oh, I'm stuck. What about you? Hey. Yeah. Hatching is harder than it looks. Uh, hey, what's taking you guys so long? Come on, get a move on. Let's go, let's go. We're going as fast as we can. Yeah. Well, I haven't got all day. Anybody else around here hatched yet? Uh -huh, uh? I have, I have. Oh, I think I have. Have I? Where am I anyway? <laughs> Listen on the uh, count of three. We're going to hatch. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> That's it. I I'm tired of waiting. I'm flipping out of here. Oh, not without me, you aren't. I had to see, and this turtle is ready to rock. Woohoo! Oh, come on, guys. Wait for us. We can't help it. Our shells won't give us a break. <laughs> oh. Stinky, what are you doing? I'm making a sign for my new club, the Wild Animals Coalition to Keep Ourselves Safe. Wackos. I made up the name myself. Stinky, you are an animal. You cannot resign from nature. Oh, we'll see about that. Right after we see about this. We're killer cats. That's where we're at. We're killer cats. That's where we're at. Should be. Don't think of us just sitting there purring on your knee. We're killer cats. That's where we're at. We're killer cats. That's where we're at. When we lie there dozing, we must look pretty cute. But pretty soon this kitten may turn. Well, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm the next guest on the animal show. Oh, I'm very happy for you. Mm. But here's the question. Which of these animals is a jaguar? The leopard, the lion, the tiger, or the black panther? Being a tortoise and lower on the food chain than all of those animals, my only answer is... Well, if that's a good answer for a tortoise, but not the right answer for us, because the jaguar here is the Black Panther. A Black Panther is, in fact, a jaguar that is black. The term Black Panther is often given to any of the big cats that happen to be black, like the Black Leopard and the Black Puma. But the term was originally given to the Black Jaguar. You can see that like his spotted cousin, the Black Panther has a very large head and body with legs that are relatively short and thick. It has a keen sense of smell and does most of its hunting at night. 
This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the Black Panther. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Break the and food now. chain now. Hey, break the food chain now. Hey, break the food chain and now. And now let's hey, visit our good friend, Eve St. LaRoche. Break his food chain now. Hey, break his food chain now. Bonjour, bonjour, my petite animal friends. It is I, Eve St. LaRoche. And today, we will find out if you are in the right place in the food chain. And my simple rule is this. If you are eating the food and the food is not eating you, then you are in the right place. <laughs> Easy, no? Oui! And I know that I am in the right place in the food chain because I am about to eat this delicious sandwich. <laughs> yum, yum. And it is not going to eat me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I recognize that sandwich. Oh no, I'm trapped in the wrong part of the food chain. Run for your life! Oh no, get your oh, mayonnaise off my sushi chicken sandwich! Thanks, Eve. Hey, Stinky, are you ready to meet our second guest? I sure am, Jake. She's going to join my group, and we will be a couple of wackos dedicated to breaking the food chain. From the tropical forest of South America. America. Please welcome Penelope, the yellowfoot tortoise. This is a bit safer. I don't see any jaguars prowling around. Well, welcome to the show. Penelope, my fellow victim of the food chain. Oh, what does he mean, Jake? Well, Stinky just found out about the food chain and he's decided to resign from nature. But Stinky, that's how nature works. We tortoises have been around more than 200 million years, so nature must be doing something right. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, okay. There are more than 250 species of tortoises, turtles and terrapins around the world. Mm. Terrapins live in fresh water, turtles in the sea, and we tortoises live on land. This one is a South American river terrapin. What is she doing there? This is a mother terrapin digging a nest in the sand for her eggs. When the nest is about three feet deep, she crawl up the side and lay her eggs in there. And then she sits there and waits for them to hatch. Oh no! Once those eggs are laid, the mother terrapin covers them up and heads back out into the water. The eggs are on their own. Uh, on their own? What can eggs do to protect themselves? Nothing, Stinky. That's why she buries them so deep in the sand. And that's also why she lays as many as a hundred eggs at a time. And laying all those eggs is one of the reasons that terrapins have been around for so many years. I don't understand. Let's watch some eggs hatch and I'll explain. Now here's that river beach where those eggs were laid several weeks ago. Okay, but tell me about the food chain. You see, Stinky, when a mother terrapin lays all those eggs, she knows that some of them are not going to make it. Oh, another animal might dig them up. Right, Jake. And some of the little terrapins that do hatch may not make it all the way down to the water. But with all those eggs, some of them are going to make it, right? Exactly. Some will make it and survive, and some may even live to be 50 years old. Wow! Look at these little terrapins burrowing out of the sand. Hey, little fellas, careful not to get sand in your eyes. <laughs> As these baby terrapins climb from their shells and dig out, they know that there's a long way to go before they'll be safe. What do you mean? You see, Stinky, for these terrapins, the goal is to get into the water as fast as they can before other animals get to them. Well, don't their shells protect them? Not when they're so little. The shell on a baby terrapin is still soft and easy to crush. So what do these terrapins do? There's only one thing they can do. Run! Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. That vulture and his friends are just waiting for those baby terrapins to start running. And all the baby terrapins run at once. That's right, Jake. And the quicker you move, the more likely you'll make it. It's the ones at the back of the pack who are going to have the most trouble. Run, terrapin, run! Well, I never knew terrapins could move so fast. Well, it's a race for survival. They know they must get to the water before these vultures catch them, or it's all over. Just eat something else. Oh, look at them go! Go, baby, go! No, you can go, do it! Yeah, can do run! It. Run! Run! Keep oh, going! Oh, go! Wow, I think they're all gonna make it! Oh, no! Yeah, that one didn't make it. But look at all the others who are almost to the water already! Oh, keep going! Go for it! Go you can do it! it. You go can on. do it! Go, 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 go! go. She's, she's gonna make it! I think she's gonna really yeah, make yeah, it! Yeah, yeah, go! Oh, go, oh, run. Oh, oh, I'm so nervous! Run! Oh! Ah. There! See? She made it! Oh! 
Ha! <laughs> Great! Now she's in the water and perfectly safe. Well, not necessarily. Even in the water, baby terrapins may be attacked by piranhas, other hungry fish, or even by a jaguar who swims by. <sighs> well, if that's the way the food chain works, I don't like it. I do, Stinky. I'm proud to be part of the food chain. Each animal and plant in nature plays a part, and together we make it possible for all the other animals and plants to exist. Now, can a food chain be broken? Oh, yes it can. For instance, when an animal becomes extinct, it affects all the other animals that depend on that animal as a source of food. We all need each other. She. Well, now I'm not so sure what to think about the food chain. You think about it. And Penelope, why don't you sing a song? Oh, I'd love to. Thanks, Jake. All right. And now here's Penelope singing, I love where I am in the food chain. I love where I am in the food chain. I've always got someone to eat. When someone above says I'm someone he'd love, that's a feeling that's so hard to beat. Where I am in the food chain I'd hate to be way out on top You get so lazy and drive you stir crazy Just knowing you weren't for the chop I eat him and he eats you What's a simpler thing to do? Guess my only hope might be that he the bottom Cause on top there is busy as bees Eating each other with luck They won't bother to think about eating up me Come on folks, who am I kidding? I'm stuck here riding this chain Starts at the bottom, goes up to the top and I'm here in the middle again. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a leopard tortoise called Myrtle who stopped at her favorite watering hole to have a drink. Not long after she got there, the Cape Turtle Doves arrived. It was their favorite watering hole, too. Myrtle didn't pay much attention to the doves, but her friend Merle was mighty interested. I can play dovetail, he said. The turtle doves didn't notice as Merle swam slowly and silently toward them. He was waiting for just the right moment to grab a tail. Unfortunately, when Merle finally lunged for a dove, he missed her tail and got her leg instead. As he didn't like playing dove leg, he let her go. And then he played his second favorite game called Look Like a Rock. And so Merle, Myrtle, and the Turtle Doves lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good story, Jake. And have you decided to rejoin nature? Well, let me think. No. Break the food chain now. Hey, break the food chain now. Hey, break the food chain now. It's habitat time. Oh, boy, I don't know. I, I'm I just, so, what's the matter with you? Oh, oh, it's this food chain thing. It gives me the creeps. About why it's the way the world works. Oh. It's the wonder of nature. Oh. It's a circle of life. Uh. Come on, Armstrong. We're going to the Brazilian rainforest. The, the rainforest? At home of a jaguar. It's not safe there. Well, so far so good. Not an animal in sight. We're in the north of Brazil, where the River Negro meets the Amazon. Oh. Come on, Armstrong. Oh, let's get a bird's eye view. Well, all right. Ew, wait, we're flying. Oh, uh, are you sure I'm not too heavy? Well, not as long as you keep flapping your arms. Oh. <laughs> Virgin rainforest still stretches here for hundreds of miles. The dense forest canopy gives food and shelter to Thousands of creatures. Yeah, as long as we don't end up being the food, I'm fine. Oh, so this is why they call it a rainforest. That's right, Armstrong. The lives of all the creatures who live here depend on the climate. Really? Particularly on the rains which come every year. Huh. The rains affect the movements of the two main rivers, and that can mean life or death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, are those two toucans I see in that tree? You got it, Armstrongy Wongy. Uh, they live high up in the rainforest canopy. They feed mainly on fruit, so you're safe in their food chain. Huh. Bunny up a snake. Don't worry, uh, Armstrong. It doesn't eat chicken hawks. But, hey, I wonder where it's going. Well, I don't. Bunny, no, you know how I hate going underwater. Oh, look at the manatees. They are very rare and visit here during the flood season to feed on the lush underwater plants. But not chicken hawks. Not chicken hawks. They're entirely vegetarian. Well, that wasn't so bad. At least we didn't get eaten. Yeah, but we also didn't get anything to eat. Oh. I'm starving. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And Armstrong, the hungry chicken hawk. Just back from the Brazilian rainforest. Hey, come on, let's get a pizza. Oh. That's what I call the circle of life. <laughs> Over to you, Rhonda. Come on, pizza. Oh, don't Once me. again, I'm Wanda Rat, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Sir. Yes? Can you tell me where each of these animals lives? The giant tortoise, the sea turtle, the Matamata terrapin, and the Sideneck terrapin. So, do you know where they live? No, but when you find out, will you tell me? Because I'm starved. Where do they find these animals? And now the answer to where these animals live is... The sea turtle lives in salt water. The giant tortoise lives on land. The Matamata terrapin lives in fresh water. And the side neck terrapin lives in fresh water, too. I'm Rhonda Rat reporting on turtles, terrapins, and tortoises. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, that's all the time we have for today. And I'd like to thank our two guests, Jasper the Jaguar and Penelope the Tortoise. Well, Stinky, I notice you've stopped protesting. Does this mean that you're a part of nature again? Oh, no, Jake. I just stopped for my favorite snack. A stink bug and red wiggler sandwich. Stinky, you can't eat that. See, if you're not part of nature, then you're not part of a food chain. Well, what's that got to do with my sandwich? Well, if you're not part of a food chain, then you can't eat anything. Oh, I never thought of it that way before. Well, that settles it. Goodbye, wackos. I'm coming back to nature. <laughs> Until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. How can you eat? Come